Welcome back to the channel. I'm Demarius Jackson with Jazz Improv Basics. Thank you for joining me again, all you wonderful musicians out there. And this video series is the lick of the week. So this week we're going to be going over a lick that can be used over a minor tonality. So that is something like A minor or any note that you want to come at, minor six, minor seven, anything with a minor tonality. Uh, I have a link below in the description to my website with the lick uh, written out in finale. You can take it uh, or you could just learn it by ear. I'll play it a couple of times here in a second. Uh, and then a whole purpose of this, once again, is to learn it in all 12 keys, uh, however you go about doing that, and apply it to our jazz vocabulary. You know, a lot of times I find uh, in my personal playing when I was learning jazz, and I'm still learning to this very day, uh, I would go out and I would learn two five one licks, and I would learn as many of those as I can, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I, I still advocate for that today, uh, but I would find that when I get something with a like a major tonality or something that's stagnant, that's just one chord, you know, I would have difficulties coming up with ideas to play. So these first couple of licks of the weeks, so I know last week we did a major tonality. You can go back and look at that video. This week we'll do a minor tonality. Uh, these first couple of weeks are just going to be kind of anything that you can use over a, a broad range of uh, that tonality, minor, major, whatever it may be. Next week we'll probably do dominant and we'll get into ultra dominant, all kinds of things. Uh, but at least just to give you a kind of a basis and a framework to work with. Uh, it's kind of like we're learning the sentences when we do a 2-5-1, uh, but we don't actually learn individual words. And, uh, you know, it's important to kind of establish a tonal, a key center, if you will. And I, I truly believe learning licks like these uh, help you uh, kind of get your ear wrapped around some things. So once again, let's play the lick and uh, examine it a little bit. I'll play it slowly in case you want to learn it by ear and not look at the website uh, PDF. <laughs> All right, so if we look at the, the notes of the lick, I think I'll probably write it in a C on the website, so I should, probably should have played it in a key. Uh, but if we look at the, the notes, I'll just say it in C. I'll probably play it in a different key. The notes are C, E flat, D, C, B, D, D flat or C sharp, B natural, and then back to C. What I really like about this lick is uh, it, includes, it includes enclosures. So if you don't know what an enclosure is, uh, without overcomplicating it for me, an enclosure is we have a target note and we have a note that precedes it. We have two notes that precede it, either above and below or below and above, however you want to look at it. So if we really look at the last three notes of the lick, I'll play the whole thing and then we're going to look at the last three notes. Those last three notes are... So it's a half step above that target note, and it's a half step below the target note, and then we have our target note there at the end. And you know, enclosures kind of give your improvisation a kind of like slivery uh, snake sound, if you will, that kind of we're meandering around something and then we finally land. Oh, get back in focus. There we go. We finally land back to our target note. So once again, the lick sounds like this. <laughs> And as I stated last week, if you didn't go and look at that video, but I'll, I'll go over it again. The way that I like to do it, uh, I'll do it chromatically at first. And I'll play the lick once, and then I'll repeat it three times. So let me go over that. So this is how I practice it in one entire uh, play down, if you will. <laughs> I'll take it from there and I'll go up a half step. Right, a little glitch, and then we'll go up another half step. course we want to do it in time with a metronome all that good stuff uh, but what I failed to mention on my last video and uh, somebody on the reddit forum made a very good point I failed to mention it uh, you can also another good way of practices practicing this is around the circle of fourths or the circle of fifths if you want to go backwards I'm more prone to going through the circle of fourths uh, I don't want to take anything for granted so if you don't know what the circle of fourths are or is 
uh, we'll take our, our first note, we'll just say G for instance, and we'll think G major. So G is our first note, and then we'll just count up to the fourth note in that G major scale, which is C. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so G is our first note. Then we go to the fourth note of a G major scale, which is a C. Then we go to the fourth note of a C major scale, one, two, three, four, which is an F. And then we go to the fourth note of an F major chord, which is a B flat. And then we just kind of keep going around the circle. One way that I like to practice it, first of all, just to get the sound in my ears, just practice playing the notes in the circle of force very slowly until I get it under. So I'll start with uh, G, uh, which is concert B flat. All right, and then we return back to G. So we went through all 12 notes around the circle of force. So we're going to take that lick on the very first lick and then we'll just slowly work it through the circle of force. You can either play it once and then repeat it three times as we did, or we can just play it through the circle of force. Uh, this is kind of how I do I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you'll, you'll get the gist of it. Ah, excuse me, let's try this. continue to go on through the circle of force as I talked about before. So hopefully that kind of helps you out in a practice kind of regiment. If you want to go through the circle of force, uh, learn them all individually, go chromatic, whatever is probably the best way and works best for you uh, is probably going to be the best method of going about practicing it. But once again, I hope that gives you a couple of ideas. Once again, I have a link below in the description that goes over, like I said, it's just a printed out version of the lick. Hope you learn it in all 12 keys. It's going to be great uh, for your playing. It just gives you something kind of a springboard of ideas. Once again, uh, for our purposes of practicing this week, if we want to find a minor tune, insert it every time you see that minor tonality just to get it under your fingers. Once again, for me, <laughs> it takes me about six months. So later on down the road sometime, I'll, that lick will probably just pop up. I don't know where my ears are want to go to that direction. And you can uh, alter the rhythm, uh, the, excuse me, the rhythm of the lick. Uh, a lot of times I like to play, instead of playing, sometimes I'll just take a portion of the lick and play, or something to the effect of, which is all honestly uh, the same lick, it's kind of the same basis uh, for that same lick, but it's a couple of different ideas rhythmically of what you can do with that one lick. So what I like to do now is I'm gonna play Mr. PC, if you don't know the tune, go find it. It's a great tune. Uh, John Coltrane is named after his bassist, Paul Chambers. And uh, it's a minor uh, blues, essentially. It's a little bit quick, uh, this recording that I have of it. Uh, but we'll go through, find something that, you know, is appropriate for you. If you want to try this tune or find any minor tune to work. And once again, anytime you see something with minor tonality, just go ahead and insert that lick and it should work out for you. So hopefully I can uh, remember to play this and I'll try to throw it in. I'm not going to go too much into it because uh, I'm still learning to lick myself. Uh, but we're going to go through and uh, hopefully you'll uh, hear the example. So here we go. This is Mr. PC. Uh, from where? <laughs> example that we're trying to go there once again uh, this is minor tonality tonality lick if you like the video go ahead and uh, smash the like button below take a look at the website it has the uh, links for the PDF for the lick 
subscribe if you haven't, uh, pass the word, leave a comment if you like to hear something different or uh, go over some kind of other tonality. I'm sure I can probably try to come up with something. Thank you again for joining us. I can't wait till next week. Once again, this is Demarius Jackson with Jazz Improv Basics, and I'll see you next week.